<laughs> Welcome to the 31 Nights of Macaween! Every day in the month of October, I will review one spooky, scary movie! Come and join if you dare! <laughs> if the name Frank Darabout sounds familiar to you, then you must be a big fan of The Walking Dead. Because this film is directed by the creator of the hit AMC show. Hence why you may recognize some of the actors of the film because they were in the show at some point in the first two seasons or onwards. But with that little fun fact out of the way, The Miss is my favorite Stephen King adaptation film or adaption film. It was the first one I ever watched, the second one being the original It. I can also say that this is also a very good film. Not only does it have a great direction by Darabont, not only does it have a great direction by Darabont, the other elements in this film that make it good would be the acting, horror, and the ending. The acting was well done for this film. Everyone in the cast gives it their all to convey emotions in a horrific situation. The one person who truly stole the show, however, would be Marcia Gay Harden as Mrs. Carmody. She played a religious fanatic perfectly in this film. She played it so perfectly that in fact she won a Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actress, which was well, well deserved. The horror in this film was also another element that ex executed very well. I say that because we only get to see a good glimpse of about three monsters in the film, but the way the scene built up to the several reveals of them was perfect for the horror. And the fact that there were more monsters out there that we had no idea what they were and what they looked like, but saw what they left for destruction and heard what they sounded like was pretty terrifying. And last but not least, the ending. If you've seen the film, you know that the ending is possibly the most heartbreaking ending in recent cinema history, probably of all time, to be honest with you. Like, I mean, like, straight up heartbreaking. I'm not going to spoil anything, but you need to watch it and just witness it yourself. The only negative I have to say about this one will be that there was a lot of throwaway characters. It's like they try to connect them to the story, but it wasn't interesting in all honesty. They just were like meat bags waiting to be killed, or like I say, Star Trek red shirts. The Mist was released on November 21st, 2007 on a budget of $18 million. After its run at the box office, it will go on to gross $57.3 million worldwide. Overall, The Mist is a great film and it's worth a watch around the Halloween time, especially if you're a big Stephen King fan and a Thomas Jane fan too, or Thomas Jane, you know, Punisher baby. I'm going to give The Mist an 8 out of 10. Stay tuned for Night 26.